Hello Jeremiah Sturk, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday, March 4th, 2016, and this is a personal video response for you. This is an unlisted video, but hey, I'm quite happy to make it public if you like. It seems that you have a problem with reading replies. It seems that you don't bother reading them at all. I read through your comments under my video on this thread here, which was started by Demon1K. And I saw your comments there, and I replied to your comments. Jeremiah Sturk, two days ago. Actually, it is very easy to debunk Dazza. Okay, so let's look at the points that I replied to. You said it is very easy to debunk Dazza. One, he claims the sun increases in size at an 11 degree angle to a 66 degree angle from 32 miles in diameter to 3001.41 miles in diameter between around 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. I never said that at all. You have completely misunderstood what I said and in fact I did try to make it clear that I was not talking about the physical size. I am talking about the angular size. I specifically made the point that the sun was not 3,000 miles in angular diameter. You need to understand that angular diameter is not the same as physical size. They are two completely different things. Go back and watch the video again and this time listen carefully. Tell me word for word what I said from 8 minutes 36 to 8 minutes 50 in my video. This is why many flat earthers believe the earth is flat. Poor comprehension and listening skills. You also said, The problem he has with this is the sun itself does not change size. However, it does change in size due to perspective. Many have proven that the sun from the horizon is smaller than at its zenith. Well, I agree with your first sentence. The sun itself does not change size. That is correct. But you are wrong about the sun changing its apparent size due to perspective. No, it does not, just as my images show it does not. The videos you posted, which I did look at, do not use a solar filter, as I did, to reveal the actual disk of the sun. What we are looking at in those videos is not the disk of the sun, but the glare of the sun which reduces as the sun gets lower in the sky and we are viewing it through more atmosphere than when it is higher in the sky. To measure the angular size of the sun's disk, a solar filter must be used to remove the glare which is scattering the bright sunlight through the atmosphere. Also, the video must be shown at a constant level of zoom when actually measuring the angular size. It constantly amazes me how stupid flat earthers are that they can't even get the basics right. So let's scroll down and we can see another comment from you, Jeremiah Sturk. Hey, Mr. D, take a look at this footage. I bet you're familiar with this stuff. In fact, maybe you are helping the dark side. No, I'm sure of it. And you post a link there. My response there to your comment you already know what you said, so I don't need to read it back to you. I've already reposted the comment that I posted earlier, so there's that one there. So, my latest reply to you was, further, you asked, why would you start filming at 7.44am at 11 degrees when you could have been honest and filmed from the horizon? My answer, I started filming at 7.44am because that is when I went outside with my camera and started filming. I went outside to put the rubbish out and I saw that the sun was fairly low in the sky and it was a clear sky, there weren't any clouds about, so I thought I'd grab my, grab my camera and start filming while it was low and then I'd come out later on and film the sun when it was higher. Okay, back to here... I can't see the eastern horizon, sea level, from my location, and I have hills and buildings and trees to my east. I would have to drive at least 20 minutes away from my location to get a clear view of the eastern sea level horizon. Also, 
there is a mountain range to my western horizon, in case I wanted to film the sun setting. I have never been to the west coast and seen the sunset over the sea. But I might have an opportunity in about two weeks' time, so I might try that. It makes little difference, though, for the purpose of this exercise, because if regardless of whether I start filming the sun from the horizon, the fact remains that the angular size of the sun should change from when the sun is at, at 11 degrees to when it is at 66 degrees. But it doesn't. You can't get around that simple fact. Now try it for yourself and do it properly as I did. Like I said, you need to use a suitable solar filter so that you are only seeing the disk of the sun and not the glare of the sun. When we look at the sun in the sky with our naked eyes or a zoomed out camera, what we are seeing is mostly glare. We are not seeing the disk of the sun because the disk of the sun is too bright to be seen. We are seeing the bright sunlight scattering through the, um, through the atmosphere. And you need to use a suitable solar filter so that you can see the actual disk of the sun, as I did in my video. Also, you need to make sure that you are using a consistent zoom. There's no point zooming in and zooming out and, and taking measurements at random zoom levels because they're not going to be consistent and they're going to give a misleading uh, indication of the angular size which is exactly why I zoomed right in on my videos so that I had maximum zoom and the zoom would be consistent. Now I cannot display the on-screen data on the video camera within the video unless I record the output of the video camera into another video recorder. And I am actually looking at doing another video where I do that so that people can see the on-screen data. In fact, I'm, I plan to do a video where I make a guide to show what you need to do to do this properly. Now, before I finish this video, I'm going to open up a couple of pictures in my Facebook page for you to look at, where I show a comparison of the sun with and without the glare removed. Okay, here are the pictures in an album on my Facebook page. I'll provide a link in the description area so that you can check these for yourself. So first of all, here is an image of the sun. This is uh, looking towards the, uh, the west. So the sun is low in the sky, uh, soon before the sun was going to set. Uh, here are two pictures I took of the sun from New Zealand at 0420 UTC, which was um, 5.20 p.m. New Zealand time on Friday 29th of March 2013. Okay, so you can see how big the sun appears to be with all its glare, but it looks a lot smaller with all the glare removed using a suitable uh, filter. All right, so let's step to the next photo where I use the filter. So this is a welding lens. This is a, I think, a number 12 welding lens, and that is the disk of the sun. That is how tiny the disk of the sun is when you remove all of the glare. The disk of the sun is only half of one degree across an angular size. Remember, we're talking about angular size, not physical size. Angular size has nothing to do with physical size, except when you're trying to make a calculation of what an angular size should be, then you need to know the physical size at a certain distance to do the calculation. So let's flick backwards and forwards between those two photos, just so that you've got a comparison of what the sun looks like in the sky. With all of its glare, it looks huge. It looks massive in the sky. This is what we are used to looking at in the sky because most people don't carry around a filter in their pocket so that they can have a look at how big the, the sun actually is. Okay, Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the two. So to do a proper angular size analysis, you must use a suitable solar filter such as a welding lens or you could get some proper beta solar filter material and put that over the front of your camera. Okay. The other thing that you must do is zoom right in so that you have a consistent zoom and so that the sun's disk 
is always the same size in your video. Now next time you post a comment, Jeremiah Sturk, I would appreciate it if you actually read the replies so that I don't have to make a video to read them back to you because apparently you can't read my replies for yourself. I'm tempted to make this a public video as an example of how flat earthers cannot follow simple replies and reasoning and logic. It seems to be a common theme.